everybody, my name is Ashley June Moore. I am originally from St. Louis, but am currently serving on staff in Seattle, Washington. I am on the Urbana Performing Arts team, serving as both a spoken word artist, primarily, and then also as an actor. God is the original spoken word artist. We see in Genesis that he spoke creation into existence. And so for us as Christians and followers of Jesus to incorporate the spoken word and spoken arts into our ministries, we're following after our creator. Even as we look at the, the, the Bible, most people who uh, heard the word, they heard it. It was transmitted orally. Um, most people weren't literate in the sense that they had a Bible and pages and scrolls in front of them that they could, could read it. So as they were learning the scriptures and, um, yeah, and hearing the word of God, it was, it was an oral tradition. People were hearing things versus simply reading them. And so there's a power when the word is spoken versus just on the written page. I think it's important to pay attention to um, and cultivate spoken word artists in our fellowships and give them voice, uh, mostly because uh, there's a way that through spoken word and through poetry we're able to communicate um, prophetically in, in, in some senses, things that students and others may not be able to hear simply through a 30 or 40 minute sermon. And so in spoken word, there's an, there's an efficacy of words. Um, a lot is said in a short period of time. And so the words that are said are used with intention um, and are able to kind of laser in on specific issues and specific topics in a way that uh, even the best sermon um, may not be able to in such a short short space and so I think especially given the shortening attention spans of uh, our generations um, being able to, to use a medium like spoken word to, to get at an issue uh, more I guess efficiently um, and directly is important. So as we think about the piece for, uh, the spoken word piece that I did at this Urbana, um, it really is based off of off the scripture and the, the theme for the conference, what story will you tell? And so we look at the image of the soldiers and the guards who were paid off to tell this false narrative. And we look at the disciples who were then entrusted with the truth to say, uh, no, Jesus really rose and that, that is what happened. Um, and so then thinking about how do we bring those two divergent narratives into uh, a creative expression um, to then pose the question of, given these two options of telling different narratives, like what story will you tell? Will we choose to tell the truth about who God is and what has happened? Um, or will we give in to fear or selfish ambition or whatever else may hinder us from living into the truth? instead of believing what, uh, what God has said and what God has done. I mean, the reality is most of our, our chapters and most of our campuses already have spoken word artists around. They may not feel seen or heard um, or may not know how and where to utilize their gifts, um, but I would say host an open mic or see what is happening on campus in terms of open mics um, and then be able to have conversations with those students who come forward in those settings um, to, to then be able to utilize their gifts in, in our ministries. I really do wholeheartedly believe that the Lord is raising up a generation of folk who are just expressing the prophetic through artistic means. And so for those who are hesitant about sharing their spoken word or trying spoken word, um, I just really believe that God is depositing something in artists today. Um, and especially as I hear spoken word um, from various students and chapters and uh, venues, I just, I, it, it resonates with what I feel like God is doing in in the world and in the city and, um, and and all of that and so I would say to not not dismiss it um, but if 
if you, you yeah, if, if there is something inside of you um, that uh, you feel like you are wanting to express to the medium of spoken word, I would say don't discount it um, because it could be that uh, God is raising up your voice um, for a purpose and for yeah, to express something that may not be heard otherwise.